hello students today we will solve this question regarding the generator so this question is the a long strung compound generator has an armature winding resistance of 0 0.05 ohm the series field winding resistance of 0 0.03 ohm and the shunt field winding of 75 ohm the generator supplies a load of 20 kilowatt at 300 volt Calculate induced EMF in the generator if the voltage drop per burst is 1 volt. So, according to the question, we have drawn the long shunt generator. So, basically, what is a long shunt generator? So, this is a generator. As you know, this is generator. These are brush brushes. Usually, there are two brushes in every generator in general. If it is not written in the question, so it is uh, fixed that there are the two brushes in one single generator. So in long shunt compound generator, so it is compound. So there is a shunt generator and there is a series generator. So the series generator is in series with the uh, series with the generator and the armature current which is flowing through the generator is also flowing through the series resistance, series, series winding resistance. Okay, so the when armature current is uh, uh, reached at this junction, this is the junction you yeah, have here. So the current will be split. Uh, this is I load, I load. This is the load current which is uh, flowing through the our potential load, and this is the shunt current which is flowing through the shunt winding resistance. So let's write the uh, uh, given data here. So let's write given that V equal to V equal to 300 volts series resistance 0 0.03 ohm shunt resistance 75 ohm and armature resistance 0 0.05 ohm so here it is given that the calculator in this generator if the voltage drop per brush is 1 volt so here is two brushes per uh, per brushes so for one brush there is a one volt voltage drop so here is two brushes so there will be total voltage drop due to the brushes so brush voltage drop will be 2 into 1 equal to 2 volts so let's move to the next slide So according to our diagram, as you can see the diagram here, I A equal to I A equal to I S H plus I L. As you can see in the junction here, the junction I A is splitting into the shunt current and the load current. So I A will be equal to I S H plus I L. So let's move to the next page here. So from the diagram, we can write that the voltage equal to I S H R S H as you can see in the diagram here I S H and R S H is in parallel with the potential potential load or voltage that is so for this and for this point the potential drop will be same so for this point this potential potential or load voltage is V so for V equal to I S H and R S H so according to the diagram, the ISH and RSH multiplication of ISH and RSH will be equal to V for this diagram. So as we have written that, so from that, as given in the question, V equal to 300 volts and RSH equal to 75 ohms. So therefore, ISH becomes v divided by rsh so v is given that 300 divided by rsh is 75 so here it comes 4 amperes ish equal to 4 amperes from this question let's find out the il here so what is il so from the relation power equal to vi 
सो पावर इज गिवेन दैट पी इज सप्लाइड का पावर इज गिवेन दैट ट्वेंटी किलो वॉट एंड वी इज गिवेन दैट थ्री हंड्रेड वोल्ट दिस इज आई लोड सो आई लोड विल बी वॉट आई लोड विल बी पी बाई बी हेयर ट्वेंटी किलो वाट सो टू ट्वेंटी इंटू टेन टू दी वर्ट थ्री वाट डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री हंड्रेड विच इज द वोल्टेज सो हेयर गेव्स सिक्सटी सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन एम्स ओके सो फ्रॉम द रिलेशन आई ए इक्वल टू आई एस एच प्लस आई एल फ्रॉम द लेट्स From the solution, we can write that I S H equal to four amps, and I L equal to sixty six point six seven, which is equal to seventy point six seven amps. So this is our required I A, armature current. So let's move to the next page. So we have found that I A equal to seventy point. Six seven amps. So we have the equation for this uh, for the shunt uh, long shunt generator, long shunt compound generator. They are given that by using KVL law here, we can write the equation. KVL we can write the equation here using KVL. So V equal to E G minus I A. R A R S E minus voltage drop, brush voltage drop. Which is equal to E G equal to V plus I A R A R S E minus voltage drop is what two volt. So let's put these values. V equal to three hundred plus I A is what I found that seventy point six seven R A equal to zero point zero five plus R S C zero point zero three minus two. Oh, actually this will be plus two plus plus two. So let's move to the next slide. So from this equation, by uh, equating these, so E G equal to three hundred plus seventy point six seven into zero point zero five plus zero point zero three plus two volts. This gives three zero seven point six five volt. This is our generated EMF in the compound shunt generator. So E G equal to generated EMF equal to three zero seven point six five volt. So this is our required solution. Thank you.